So what is going on guys? Welcome to the YouTube channel. If we have not yet met, my name is Peter Roberts. Now in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys, showing you how I'm going to be making over $400 in one day solo mowing lawns. Yeah, it's me by myself today, a push mower, a little mower that I'll show you guys in a second, and we're going to be going out there mowing lawns to make over $400. Now the purpose of this video is to share with you guys a little day in the life type of action, how I'm running my lawn care business at age 22, and more importantly, I just want to break down how you can start making money this summer mowing lawns, one of the best businesses that I started as a teenager that's completely started to change my life. So guys, stick with me here. We're going to get ready. We're going to go over to my parents' house to pick up my mowing trailer, and then we're going to go out there and start servicing these properties. But let's show you how you can make over $400 in one day mowing lawns. Let's go. All right guys, quickly before we jump over to my parents' house to pick up the mowing trailer to get started on this day, I just wanna share that it's an absolute beautiful day today, 75 degrees, it hasn't been, it hasn't been this cool in the past you know, four weeks, I'd say. So an absolute great day to start going out there making some money. Usually I'm sweating my face off, so it's gonna be a great day. Now secondly, I wanna share a little bit about my story, how I started this business. From when I started this business with my dad's truck, now that I have my own truck that I purchased, now I have my dad's push mower, that I have my own equipment. Now I just ran this business, I decided to go out there, start knocking on doors, quit my job at the farm, and pursue this goal of starting my lawn care and landscaping business. Now three and a half years later, it's paid off, and now we can make three to $600 every day solo mowing lawns. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down a little bit, a day in the life of how we do it, and more importantly, how I make money solo mowing lawn in my business. Let's go. All right, guys, so we are property number one of the day. It is 12.48. I went home. When you're at your parents' house, they want to feed you. They want to take, take care of you. So we ate, we refueled, and we're ready to start our day mowing. So right in front of me here, I'll show you guys the property in a second. It's property number number one. Um, this property takes about 10 to 15 minutes. It's a $45 property. So we're going to go ahead and drop the trailer, show you guys what this property looks like, and get mowing. Let's start our day off, and let's go get some money. Let's get it. Alright guys, so we just finished up property number one. I'm gonna give you a quick little tour of the backyard look. Like I said, it's a $45 property. We finished that in 12 minutes. Absolutely just smasher. Simple property. A lot of these properties are dry, so they're easy to cut. Not much weed whacking here, but let me show you what the first property looks like here. A little backyard here, got everything weed whacked, cleaned up. Now let me take you out to the front. Now here's what the front look. We don't cut the right side, but we got the left side done. Let's get it all blown off and let's go out to property number two. All right guys, so property number one is done in about 12 to 15 minutes. We got $45 down for the day. Let's head over to property number two and three. These properties are gonna be next to each other. I don't know if I saw you guys my equipment. We didn't bring out my push mower. We just bought out my Skag 32. This mower just smacks all these small properties. A lot of them have gates, so I just have that as my mower. So you might be thinking, Peter, how can I afford this? You're making all this money mowing lawns. Well, the truth is I got all these customers prior to purchasing this machine. I had a small all zero turn and I just scaled up. I started with a push mower, I started getting more clients, and over time I grew this business. And fortunately enough, this summer I spent a little over seven thousand dollars on that Skag mower. It's probably been the best investment that I made in my lawn care business. So, enough talking, just trying to fill you guys in on my business details. Let's go over to property number two and three. Let's keep crushing. All right, guys, so we are at properties number two and three today. So this one here is a $40 property, and the one next door, which I'll show you guys in a second, is a $50 property. But as you can see, they're on the water here. We're gonna get some mowing footage, and let's get both of these bad boys cut.
All right, guys, so we just finished up property number two and property number three. Right now, it is two o'clock on the dot. So these properties took me around 33 minutes to make $90. We had $40 for this property on the left. Super easy, not much weed whacking. The property on the right, which was my first, one of my first, first customers, um, she pays me $50 every week to cut this property. So I keep them on a similar schedule. A little side tip that I love to just kind of help increase my margins on profits when I'm mowing is to try to get as many properties in a small area as possible. Not only is the cost of gas, all that stuff help you save money but more importantly your efficiency in making money goes way up so that's it guys property number two three number one two and three are done let's go over to property number four this is a fifty dollar property i'm gonna show you guys what this one is and this one is on the water as well let's keep mowing all right guys so we have property number four for the day um, i'm gonna show you guys what the fifty dollar property looks like so behind me is this property when i first started my lawn care landscaping business i remember push mowing this lawn she was a customer that i posted an ad on the next door app um, I came to her property, an absolutely so overgrown property. I had one push mower, my push mower couldn't even cut the grass. So I was out there for like five hours cutting the grass, and now she's been a long-term customer. Done so much work for her, but uh, let's go over here, let's cut this property, let's make the quick 50 bucks, but here's what it looks like. So as you can see, a little overgrown. We haven't got much rain lately, so uh, not super overgrown. This one should be pretty quick to cut, but look, check this little hack out. Bam, so it's a larger property. Um, not too much weed whacking, just a little bit of edging. It is a corner house. I learned that these do take longer. So uh, let's get everything ready and let's uh, get mowing. All right, guys, so here we are. As you can see, it is 2.40. Um, I say about 25, 30 minutes. This property is all cleaned up. My property four is done. Um, nice edged. It's a beautiful little property, little corner property. We got cleaned up. Let's go over to property number five. Let's get it. All right, guys, so here we are at property number five for the day. Let me show you what it looks like here. Um, this was a new customer of mine. I got actually this year. It's a $50 property. The hill is a little steep down there steep down there as well but as you can see there's not much growth um the property does extend a little bit up here but uh we're gonna do as we usually do go ahead and drop the trailer and get this one cut one thing i do want to share is that i got this customer based on referral so basically another customer told them about my service and they called me today they didn't really care about the price they said hey peter you sound reliable um, everyone in the community says you're fair let's go ahead with your service let's go ahead and cut it so i never met this person before i never even talked to this person basically they sent me an invoice every month for my services um, and just how good business works so um, go out there build a good repu reputation for yourself and watch your business start to grow and you're gonna start making more money through your mowing business so let's get it
All right, guys, so we just finished up property number five. We're just rolling along today. I'm so glad it's not hot out here. These past few days, the past few weeks, been in the upper 90s, absolutely sweating. Um, but right now it is 316, and as you can see right here, we have made $235. In the past two hours mowing lawns, we're on lawn number five, going on number six. This is a new lawn that we're gonna be doing. There's mosquitoes in here. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to go ahead and drop the comments below. Love to hear your thoughts. And yeah, I took your comments and concerns from the last video. You said, Peter, why do you not weed whack second? I don't you cut first and then weed whack and I don't know why subconsciously I've trained my body trained my business to go out there and weed whack second but um, I do realize it helps me become efficient so going over to property number six keep on rolling let's see how much money we can make on our goal to four hundred dollars today so we got a good ways to go let's get it all right guys so here we are at property number six for the day just a small front yard here and a small backyard this is a forty dollar property um, it's actually my friend's account that I've been mailing for him as he's in on vacation. So just getting it in every two weeks. I uh, just want to show you guys some more progress. Not much to cut here, but we're going to get it done. All right, so there we are guys, 15 minutes, actually 14 minutes, $40 on this property here. Quick little mow. Um, the great thing about these small properties, and they're dry, they don't need a lot of work, we just kinda just run over them real quick, but um, we're still rolling here, it is 350. Keep this mowing going. Uh, we're gonna go to property number seven. Um, it's beautiful, it's just pretty peaceful out here by myself today, enjoying the little solo mowing. Um, it's been around two to three weeks that I've been out here by myself. Uh, we've been doing a lot of landscaping, it's really been kind of consuming our business. A lot of landscaping projects that we did uh, last week, and then um, we're getting back to the mowing. We did about 45 to 50 lawns this week. My help is gone, so I'm trying to crush all these jobs in, you know, pretty rapidly. And I'm also leaving on Thursday to go to Nashville. So a lot of stuff that we're getting done here. Probably be a long day, um, probably five or six o'clock. But hey, we're gonna make that goal of $400 today. Um, going over to property number seven, I believe. Let's go. So guys, as we're driving over to the next properties, there's gonna be two properties next to each other. I just had a really quick moment of reflection, of gratitude, how grateful I am that I was able to start this business. Now right now in your life, you're a teenager, you wanna make some extra money. I think the lawn mowing business side hustle, way to make money is one of the best ways that you can get started on this journey. And like I reflected earlier guys, I had a push mower, I didn't have my own equipment, I didn't even have any customers, and I just went out there and just started knocking on doors, went on Facebook posting, and just try to grow something for myself. Myself. I just want to share with you guys that no matter where you are started on this journey, zero customers, five customers, 10 customers, that this is a great business that will allow you to grow, make excellent money. So go out there and just get started. Some people are afraid to go out there and take action. They said, hey, Peter, I see the comments. I'm going to go start this. I'm going to go start this. Just go for it. I didn't tell anyone. I just went for it. Three years later, after hard work, it paid off. So guys, just go for it. Use this as a quick little motivation. Just to tell yourself that, hey, it's time for me to take action. It's time for me to start this business. Go for it and watch your life begin to change. Watch your finances start to change. And more importantly, it's one of the most beautiful business ever, a business of service, a business of helping people. So go out there, use this quick message. Um, let's go out here and start mowing more lawns. Let's get it. All right guys, so here we are at property number six and then number seven over here. I'm gonna jump into some mowing footage here. Um, corner houses, so let's get it. All right guys, we just finished up property number six and number seven. So the first property we did here behind me um, was a $50 property and the one right here in front here, my camera died at, 
um, is a $45 property. I bet it's $45, but this customer here gave me like a $5 tip, a little bit of love. Um, just a great customer. The reason they gave me a tip is because I'm more than just a business. I feel like with me, I've connected, became friends with these people, and they just really enjoy my service. So they came home today, just a quick little story that I kind of used to help grow my business subconsciously. I don't even know this, but this is what happened today. They came home. I don't really see them often. I text them before I come over. Hey, I'm coming over to service your property. And then they say, okay, great, thanks so much, Peter. Then today I saw them, I stopped, dropped my weed macker, turned off my headphones, and I started chatting with them, learning about their family, learning about their life, how's work, how's everything going, and just building a relationship, building rapport with this customer, because I know I'm a business, but more importantly, they hire me because of myself. So use a simple strategy to grow your customer base, go out there and be personal, be a person, and watch your business continue to blossom and develop. So right there we are at, let's see here, drum roll, please, how much money have we made? Six and seventh property of the day in uh, about four hours. I'd say is $370 and guess what the last property they're doing is actually my neighbor's house and is a $30 property it's just the front yard so well you guys through this property but guys 375 $370 right now in four hours absolutely great little 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 love to the the mowing business and just all that stuff so let's go over here to property um i guess number eight for the day and let's finish this day up let's go all right y'all so i've been absolutely tripping about how many numbers how many lawns i did today I realized that today, this one is number nine. So I don't know where my thought goes. I guess the heat got to me here, but finishing up lawn number nine right now is gonna put us at exactly $400 for the day, solo mowing. Let's go boys and girls. Um, and let's go ahead and get the last mowing footage. Let's drop this tailgate, let's drop the mowers, and let's finish this day strong. Five o'clock on the dot, let's roll. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is a wrap for today. We finished up property number nine, the neighbor's house. We do every Monday. Didn't really need to cut, but we go ahead and cut it every Monday. So, guys, that is how you can make $400 solo mowing lawns, guys. And I'm so grateful, so excited to continue to share this business journey with you as I'm running this business, as I'm running an online business, guys. There's just a lot of things that I'm working on. I just want to share with you guys what I'm doing, documenting the process of my life to help you hopefully get inspired to start a lawn mowing business, some type of power washing business, some type of service business. If you just want to make extra cash, guys, I started this business with literally nothing and transform it. We're doing nearly over $10,000 every month. Um, in sales through my business. I'm um, continuing to grow this business as the summer can continue to progress. But it all started with nothing, guys. So little boy I was with a dream, just wanting to grow and become an entrepreneur, and this business allowed me to do that. So guys, I love you guys so much. If any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to hit me up. If there's anything you're struggling with, please let me know. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, we're doing about three to four videos. We're going to Nashville on Thursday, so a lot of things that are going on, but I'll get to you guys as soon as possible. I'm so grateful. I love you guys so much. Hit me up on anything. I'm here for you always. Cheers.